Hey guys, so it's your Ash the Crew here, and today we the Lego Star Wars The Last Jedi Resistance Transport Pod. So, this is the box here. So, you can see it's recommended for just 8 to 14, and this at 75176 comes with three mini figures, uh, which are Rose, Finn, and BB 8. And yeah, so you can see, uh, it has a really nice uh, box art here. So the top showing you uh, the actual size, and yeah, this is the bottom, and yeah, um, this is the side showing you um, pretty much the same as the front of the box, and nothing on the other side. And yeah, so the back showing you all the features, and um, yeah, so that's uh, it for the box. So, uh, this is the instruction manual here, so, uh, you can see this is the first page of, uh, the build, and, um, yeah, the last page is, um, right here, and, yeah, so here, uh, you got all the figures from the first wave of the Last Jedi sets, and you also got all the, all the sets right here, and you also got, uh, this, the, the Star Destroyer, uh, the Star Destroyer versus the uh, Resistance uh, Bomber, and also the, the build the first thing, and also all the parts that includes uh, in the set. And um, yeah, so that's it for the instruction. So these are all the extra pieces here. So uh, you can see. Uh, does have a uh, quite a lot of uh, studs here, and you know, you you also got uh the towel piece here, and you also got uh this pistol piece, you got this uh binocular piece, or you know which you if you attach it like this, you can make uh the weapon that uh, Rose uh use. I'm not really sure what it is, but you also got this bucket handle, and you got all these technique pieces. Uh, this towel, uh, this structure piece, um, extra missile for the sprinkler shooter, and uh, you got this printed towel piece, which is a uh, thermal detonator, and you can you know make a thermal detonator. Not, um, I guess I made it wrong. It's supposed to be like this, but um, yeah, like uh, aside from that, that's really it for all of the extra pieces. First off, uh, Mayfix, this uh, is Rose. So you can see she she's armed with uh, this uh, blaster, and yeah, so she has uh, this really nice uh, hair piece, which I believe it is new. I could be wrong though, but yeah, you got uh, the ponytail on the back, and yeah. Uh, so you can see uh, the torso printing looks really nice. Uh, you got her belt there, and you also got her um, a pouch and. Um, yeah, uh, her, like, her trusser printing just looks, uh, really detailed, and, yeah, so, uh, the, the light printing also looks nice, you got another pouch right there, and you also got all the linings, and, yeah, so, the back, you can see, you got her angry expression, and you also got the back, uh, torso printing, but, aside from that, uh, that's really it for Rose. Next up, this is Finn. So, you can see, he's armed with uh, this silver blaster or gunmetal gray, I'm not quite sure, but yeah, it does look uh, really nice, and yeah, it's definitely not black, so yeah, nice to get a um, new color, maybe, but yeah, so, you can see, uh, you got uh, his hair piece here, and also a uh, new um, Hit piece with different expressions. So uh, this one is a really happy face, which um, looks weird, but um, yeah, it, it's okay. So uh, the torso printing is also new design, uh, new because his undershirt is a um, different one, not black. And yeah, uh, and you also have uh, his uh, jacket, um, post jacket, or I should say. But um, yeah, you also got uh, this. Uh, damage uh, part of the um, jacket which you know uh, he got it uh, from uh, fighting uh, Kylo Ren 
and yeah so uh the lightman thing also looks really great you got the belt and you also got the holster which is really hard to see but yeah and yeah this uh, leg piece is in um gunmetal gray which is um really nice to get and yeah so his alternate expression is this uh, really scared face which looks great and yeah so the back uh, is pretty much the same one as the force awakens one uh, it's just that he has uh, this um, suit on part, which you know is uh, also another battle damage that he got from fighting uh, Kylo Ren, and yeah, nice attention to detail there. I do really like it. So, yeah. But aside from that, uh, that's really really it. So last but not least, you got a uh, BB-8, which um, you know is the exact same one as the one that uh, came in all the other older sets. And yeah, so you know, you got a really nice uh, headpiece for him, and yeah, like um, it's really nice mode and all the printings they all look really great. Um, but it's it's just not new, but yeah, um, I guess um, it's nice to get BBA in the set. So this is the resistance cron spot pod itself here. So uh, you can see you got uh, this uh, yellow uh, translucent yellow canopy piece, which is um, nice to get. And yeah, uh, you got a lot of uh, stickers on this thing, which is really hard to line and also uh, stick on it. And um, yeah, it's kind of annoying, uh, but um, yeah, I, I did put it on. And yeah. So here you got uh, another uh, sticker, and yeah, it's a panel piece which you can remove. And inside you have uh, this little um, storage com storage compartment, which you can put in two studs for the um, stutcher, and you know you have extra ammo for that. So speaking of uh, the stutcher, you got uh, the stutcher on the side here. And you also got uh, these cannons, which cannot be fired. But yeah, the these uh, the turret thing here, uh, you can you know like spin it around, and yeah, uh, it's it works well, and yeah, it's it's great. And yeah, so the the bottom here, you can see you got this wheel, which activates both of these uh, spring load missile, which you can fire. And it goes uh, really far, and um, yeah. So uh, here you also got another sticker right here, <coughs> and uh, the back you got uh, these crusters, which they use translucent blue minifigure heads, and yeah, it's a uh, very um, very creative, and yeah, I do like how they use it. And you also got this thing, which um, you you can use it to uh, spin this um, this turret. And yeah, so you got all these uh, tubing going around here, kind of like a frame. And you also got uh, these new macaroni pieces. And uh, on this side, you got uh, another sticker. And you know, I'm not sure what uh, what this is though, but yeah. Uh, and you also got this uh, fin piece on top here, which you know does have a sticker. And it's on both sides. And yeah, so here you got a uh, removable little compartment, which you know uh, the uh, inside you got uh, the thermal detonators, two of them, and yeah, um, I showed you uh, this earlier, but yeah, you got a pretty nice spot for them in there, and you also got this clip piece which holds a uh, rose. Um, little uh, shotgun. So uh, this canopy piece, you can uh, remove it. And yeah, and you can see inside you have uh, two two seats for both of the figures, and yeah, so you also got uh, this sticker piece which you have uh, the um, control panel, I guess, and you also got this um, little joystick thing, and yeah, they use this uh, bucket handle piece, which is very nice, and. Yeah, um, so on the side here, you see you got two clips for both of their blasters. And here are uh, the figures uh, inside the uh, ship. So, um, yeah, they fit in pretty nicely. They got uh, quite a lot of space. And, yeah, the only problem here is just that uh, the figure, you can't quite uh, lean the figure back. Uh, you know, you don't have to do it, but, 
yeah, you know, like, it just feels like you have to do it, but, um, yeah, it, it's, you can't quite do that because, um, it's only connected, uh, on the back of the figure's legs, and, yeah, but, uh, the top here, you see, um, you got a, a panel piece, which is removable, and, yeah, you know, you can see here, review some, uh, technique, uh, mechanism, and, yeah, and you got a, um, a little spot for BB-8, uh, you know, so he can just sit in, sit on the back, and you know, just relax, I guess. And yeah, uh, BB is uh, pretty hit, hidden as well, so you can't quite see him from the front. But um, yeah, nice to have some extra space. But aside from that, that's really it for the build. And um, yeah, so. So overall conclusion of uh, this set. So how do I think of it? Uh, well. Uh, this set is um, definitely a great set. Uh, it's the cheapest of the entire wave, uh, the first wave of the Last Jedi sets. And um, yeah, I think uh, this this set has a lot of uh, play features, which is definitely great. And yeah, you got a lot of panels which you can like open up and stuff. And um, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's really great. Uh, that you can do all those stuff and yeah and the the figure selection um, is also nice you get a Finn, Rose and BBA uh, which both of these figures they are uh, new and BBA is not but yeah it's it's still nice to get BBA because you know BBA is um, not in many uh, cheap sets and yeah it's it's great and Finn and Rose uh, they are definitely nice to get uh, uh, because they are all just uh, all main characters and yeah uh, so overall I think this set is um, definitely a great set has a lot of play features and um, has some pretty nice figures and yeah the price is um, you know pretty pretty good uh, pretty normal but yeah still nice so yeah um, overall I recommend you getting this set so uh, buying for this set down in the description box below along with all my social media pages down in the description So if you like my channel make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you very soon